The evil swarm virus gave me the worst cold of my life and strep throat. I have no idea how this could get any worse. Mm. Of course the list would come out. Alright you guys, so the camera is going to be closer to me than it normally is because I cannot speak as loudly right now because my throat is still all kinds of torn up. I didn't originally think it was the evil swarm virus, but it was the evil swarm virus. It can't be a coincidence guys, Extreme Force comes out with the new evil swarm card and then I get the evil swarm virus. It's, it's not a coincidence, okay? It's not a coincidence. And uh, what, what's really weird though is like this list, I have not seen this list yet. I was actually messaging, I was just in bed sick, literally, messaging Ryan and uh, you know, uh, Dave, Dave and Aders, Ryan. Uh, um, and, I, and we were talking back and forth and we stopped messaging and they messaged me like two minutes later or whatever, however long it was, it was like new ban list and it's, and it's a doozy and I'm like, oh gosh. And so I have not seen the ban list yet. Um, I will say that um, I am I am already surprised right now. I'm already surprised by the ban list. I haven't even seen it yet, but I really expected it not to come out until like early March. I'm being serious, guys. I did not even expect this ban list. I was literally going to make a video probably tomorrow or the, ne or the next day, you know, when, I'm, when I expect it to feel better. I actually planned on making a video talking about how I didn't think that the ban list was going to happen until after the special edition for Extreme Force came out. But obviously, I am way, way wrong about that. So without any further ado guys uh, let's get into this I'm really sorry for you know me being sick and not being as uh, you know enthusiastic and uh, as energetic as normal I, I still just kind of feel like crap so for this ban list wow I already see cards oh wow okay 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 so whoa guys Wow! Oh, I can't <laughs> I can't speak really loud but wow so go through the vague shadow ban that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. I think I think Gofu was fine at one. I think it was too much at three, but I think it was fine at one. Uh, Gofu, that's that's a travesty, guys. That's not a good thing. Dandelion, uh, Dandelion. I've seen some I've seen some dumb plant stuff, and we are getting new plant stuff. So Dandelion, yeah, I, I, I could see that. And uh, you know, Dandelion caused problems. You know, if you guys would remember, you know, Dandelion it was hit in the first place because it caused problems way back in you know synchro format and stuff. You know, the synchro era of Yu-Gi-Oh. So it's kind of one of those cards like Vavavul Chain that just kind. Of, you know, or the Digusto Emerald that kind of uh, rises up and causes problems every now and then, depending on you know what decks come out, what format um, it is, and etc. So, uh, Dandelion getting hit, uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. But let's keep going down here. So, uh, wow, so we have Double Iris Magi whoa, Double Iris Magician Band, wow. So, they guys, they are prematurely. We we aren't even in the new Extreme Force format yet, man. And they are, man. I think I was I right on the money about about pendulums or I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I'm serious, guys. Electromite's a really good card. I've seen the really crazy boards the pendulums have been able to make with Electromite. Maybe they're prematurely, you know, they're just, they're just like uh, they're, they're preemptively, not prematurely. I'm sorry. Once again, I'm still very sick. But I think they're preemptively um, getting rid of this magician. That's crazy. They're they're taking preemptive actions. That is that is nuts. Okay. Okay, so then we have Love Weeder. Love Weeder, everyone kind of saw coming. Um, I didn't talk about Love Weeder because I didn't really think it was a problem. I mean, it's a really good card because it you know, basically keeps coming back and gives you you know free link fodder and stuff. So I thought it would, I, I could see it being a problem, but I didn't think it was that big of a problem yet. Um, but maybe maybe they saw it as a big problem, or maybe this is just another uh, preemptive um, action by them. Uh, Maxi, finally. Okay, so Maxi, they finally made a decision on Maxi. Um, I, I've, I've been on this bandwagon for a little bit now, guys. Guys, I've, I've always said that it should be at zero or it should be at three. I, I said one was kind of tolerable because, like, you know, if you draw it when you don't need it, you know, in your brick, like, it's kind of your own fault for running it. Or, you know, at the same time, though, it's kind of, like, too good not to run. It's kind of like a high-risk, high-reward card at one because if you draw it when you don't need it, it sucks. But if you draw it in your opening hand, it's really, really good. So a uh, high-risk, high-reward, uh, but they got rid of that. So they got rid of that with uh, with Maxi, and that's, that's actually kind of crazy. That is actually insane. Um, Skull Crabat. Wow, guys, guys. Skull Crabat Joker. Pendulums are too strong. I can't wait to see what they did to Spirals then, man. Wow, that is insane. They did all this to Pendulums already, and, we're, and I'm just at the top of the list, guys. What did they? What did they do to Spirals then? Wow, they gave us Joker back to three just to take it away. That is insane. That is insane. Wow. And um, there is, yeah, that's that's all. So those are all banned cards, guys. Those are all banned cards. 
So no new banned uh, spells or traps, just um, banned monsters. That is that is crazy. So those are all the new banned monsters. I'm pretty sure I got over all. Yeah, gone over all the new banned monsters. Yeah, it looks like I did. And then uh, so for the for the um, limited monsters. Um, so we have uh, Cleefort Towers Limited. Oh, so that's pretty interesting. I think initially you're going to see a bunch of Cleefort players try to make Towers Turbo a thing again, you know, at the beginning. But um, Cleefort Towers coming off, I don't think is that big of a deal. I will say, though, expect like cards like Into the Void and stuff and other cards that Cleefort Towers Turbo played back in the day. You know what I mean? Expect those cards to go up in price. I will say that right now, at least initially. Um, Grinder Golem Limited, uh, we kind of saw that. And uh, then uh, Grinder Golem will probably um, go to a zero if. If, if it's still a problem at one, I think it's probably fine. Grinder Golem is probably fine at one, uh, how it is. But th th then again, if they see it to be too big of a problem, like Gofu, uh, then, then they'll ban it, just like they did Gofu on this list. And uh, I, the, well, uh, like the thing is, I, I felt like I felt like Grinder Golem was less fair than Gofu. I felt like Gofu was. I feel like Gofu was fair, but I mean, what do I? I mean, what do I know? What do I know? Maybe, maybe, maybe Konami made this list. Maybe, maybe that they're onto something that we aren't all on onto, and maybe this is like the best list that that's ever happened. I I don't know. It, it might be the best list. This is this is looking pretty just round, like all around, like devastating to everything so far, except for spirals. We haven't seen any real spiral hits yet. Uh, so uh, keep like moving down here. We have um, Perform Age Damage Jugular. Whoa. Juggler, they're bringing back the perform ages that gave us juggler to one. So now, do they not realize you can send that off a brilliant fusion? That's a life for brilliant fusion. Oh my gosh, that is insane. That, that, I don't know about that, guys. That is wow, firewall to one. Woo, I don't know about firewall to one. I mean, firewall to one, that's that makes it a little more fair because firewall spam decks are kind of a pain in the dick, but um, I don't know if I agree with juggler. That's that's kind of insane, man. Uh, but then again, it might it might not be like other things that have come off that have said like it's just not going to make that big of a splash. Like Cleefort Towers coming up, I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal. I mean, it might be initially, like I said, but not really going forward. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Um, and I don't, I feel like firewall, not firewall, but I feel like um, a damage juggler, I mean, what might have like an initial splash, you know, like brilliant fusion decks, uh, you know, and stuff like that. But I don't, you know, because we, we, they, they never hit trick clown. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep, let's keep going here. Let's keep on going here. Um, let's see what else they hit. A monster abort. What? What? card you can summon from either player's graveyard like guys no i can't i can't tell if this is like the best or the worst list ever made so far like that is i, I don't get me wrong i love monster reborn and it's it's debatably the most iconic card in Yu-Gi-Oh. it's right up there with blue eyes and exodia and you know and the god cards it's, it's an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card so i would love to play it don't get me wrong and i love playing the card because i play a lot of 2002 format but it being back in our game and being such a sacky card, I, I just don't, I don't feel like it's a fair, I don't feel like it's fair. I don't feel like that's fair at all. I feel like that's way too far. I mean, if you were, Konami, if you were looking to make like a huge splash with this list, you already made it, okay? You didn't need to go the extra mile and bring back Monster Aboard to one, okay? <laughs> that does. That is... Woo, I don't know if I agree with that. That is just insane. Spiral Resort. There we go. Spiral Resort to one. There's the spiral hit. We were waiting on it. There it is. Spiral Resort to one. Now we will see what happens with, with Pendulums Hindered and, well, Magicians Hindered, not Metal Foes or anything like that. So Metal Foes might be the next Pendulum deck to rise. We, we, like I said, guys, um, you know, when I was talking about Pendulum Magicians being really good with Electromite, I was like, but I'm not limiting this just to Pendulum Magicians. I'm just saying the Pendulum Magicians are the most consistent, but there's other Pendulum little decks out there i'm pretty sure that's word for word what i said and uh so don't count out pendulums at all guys um just because pendulum magicians got joker out and stuff you know i mean the joker band and all that doesn't mean that they're still not going to be just insane like some other pendulum deck might rise up some mix between everything might rise up and just be completely nuts we, we will have to wait and see but um solemn judgment wow okay solemn judgment to one that's pretty cool that is pretty cool okay and i feel like that helps the counter fairy deck and i feel like that oh wow and that's just a really good that's a really good one up to have back that is nuts uh so that's gonna be going up the price oh uh, wow that is crazy that is absolutely nuts and then uh going down going down here um, so off the list, so nothing, nothing semi-limited. That, that was it for the limited cards. The last limited card was Solemn Judgment. Um, off for off the list, uh, Moral Talk. 
Moral Talk off the list. BLS off the list, Car Trooper off the list, Thunder King, Ryo off the list, a walking mistake, guys, walking mistake, and 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 a uh, and summon negator off the list. Brian Ack, wow. He's off, brain control's off, El Shit off, Fusion, El Shit off, Fusion's off. That is insane. Future Fusion is off, but they got an errata. Mind control is off. Uh wow, my mind control is off. That is insane. Preparation of rice, wow. Woo! Prep of rights off the list. Sacrifice. Bottomless trap hole off the list. Well, sacrifice. Whoa, sacrifice off the list. Klee actually might be a thing. And then Towers is back to one. Wow, we might actually see some Klee that's come back. I take that back from earlier. I mean, they might actually initially make a splash and stay relevant with, with Sacrifice back to three. I don't know. That's pretty insane, guys. And they still have Skill Drain. They still have one Skill Drain, and they have, like, three lose one turn, and they have, like, their own archetype-specific, um, you know, trap card. I can't remember what the Klee trap is called, but I remember it's pretty good. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. And then Bottomless Trap Hole, Ceasefire, Ojama Trio, Torrential Tribute. All unlimited, guys. Torrential Tributes Unlimited. Oh, this, guys, this is, this, I, I, I'm serious. I, I'm dubbing this right now. This is the most insane ban list of all time. This is right up there. This is the most drastic, insane, crazy ban list since, like, what, the 2013 or 2011 ban list? Whatever ban list it was, it was 2011. 2011, the one that took Stratos away from us. That, that ban list was insane. This is just like that. This actually, you know what? Let me let me back, let me fast forward a little bit. This is the most insane list since uh, the list that killed Duelist Alliance format. The list that you know killed Burning Abyss, uh, Shadal. They didn't, didn't completely kill Burning Abyss, but you know what I mean. The list that hit all those Duelist Alliance era decks, um, including Necroz and all that stuff. Um, man, that th this is the craziest list since that. Okay, and that was that one list was insane. That was that was that list. You know, made heads roll. Okay, and this is kind of like that. This is. Preemptively, though, this is like a lot of preemptive hits, and I can tell that Konami is really trying to fix the game here because they acknowledge that they made links with the intention of trying to fix the game and make the game a little more balanced, you know, because if you can control, you know, the flow of extra deck monsters and, and summoning spam, then you control the speed of the game. It, it makes perfect sense. So if you, you know, if you make it to where everyone uh, like only has one zone and then you, they have to open up more zones, then, then they kind of, it's kind of like this built-in floodgate into the game mechanics, you know, it's just, it makes perfect sense. Like, I've, I've liked the Link mechanic, you know, I, I, I felt I had high hopes for it, but, um, you know, as we've seen in the game, actually kind of just has gotten faster with Links because they, they, you know, a lot of them just require just two monsters to make, two of anything to make. And I feel like with this list, um, they are making a genuine effort to slow all that down. And that is actually incredible. And maybe just to throw us a bone or whatever, maybe that's why they gave us Monster Reborn back because they hit a lot of the spammy stuff like Grinder Golem and they got rid of, you know, uh, Dandelion and they got rid of a uh, Level Eater and stuff. So they got rid of a lot of the spammy stuff, but they gave us back, you know, Monster Reborn, which is a special summoning, you know, Saki card. Um, you know, maybe they were just, I don't know, guys. Uh, I feel like this list is... <sighs> It's, 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 it's balanced, but it's unbalanced at the same time. It's almost a perfect list, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's, it's, I still have to sit here and digest this list. I'll probably have a better video for you guys uh, tomorrow or the next day or something like that. Fully, you know, talking about our current metagame and all that. But for right now, just my first reaction of the list, which is going to be this video. My first reaction of the list is that this is the craziest, most, most drastic list that we've had to, to date. I think that this blows every other list that we've had previously out of the water. I think this is the craziest one and I'm saying it right now. It's a doozy. Subscribe! <laughs>